What's good, YouTube? It's me. Another video. Um, it's gonna be a video response to that famous, infamous question that everybody wonders, uh, specifically from other races other than being black, on why they can't say the N word um, and we can. Um, and you would think that, you know, it's self explanatory, um, you know, because they say, you know, we say it all the time and, uh, you know, people are watching stuff in music videos and all this fake stuff, and um, you know, not every, not every, you can't, you know, I've been asked that question a lot from, you know, uh, my white friends and stuff, and you know, I have another friend who's been asked that a lot too. I'm thinking that you know we're the spokesperson for all black people. Um, you know, I just want to you know say it straight that you know, not everybody uses that word. First off. So before you, you know, get it twisted or everything, not every black person says the N word. Trust me. Uh, many, I have most of, probably 90% of my family doesn't, I've never heard them use the word. Um, so, you know, it's, you got, you got to take that into account. Um, but uh, I want to, you know, say, why does it matter? Ask yourself that question. You know, why is it such a big deal on saying that N-word? Um, like, what, what's the big deal? Um, it's not, <laughs> are you going to die because you can't say that word? Or, uh, you know, it's, it's, what's the big deal? Um, let's look at the B-word. Um, you know, B-word is a derogatory term towards, towards women. You know, it means that it's a female dog. I'm not going to go up to a girl and be like, you know, what's up, B? <laughs> or what's up, my B? I, I don't believe in, you know, calling girls that or even saying it around them or, or, or anything. Because um, it's just a derogatory term. And I, I, I respect, you know, I respect women. Or, um, you know, I'm not going to want to degrade them. Um, if if a girl tells me or my friend or whatever, if she, I mean, I've heard girls, they call each other Bs all the time, you know. They, they call their friends, you're like, you know, like it's, they do it in a, it's not just a mean way, but they do it in a nice way, you're like, you know, like, be please, you know, <laughs> they're just joking around, or like, be, uh, come here, or something, I don't know, whatever, but, yeah, it's, uh, it's no big deal to me that I can't say it, um, if a girl tells me that, no, I can't say it, I get mad, I'm going to respect her wishes, I'm not going to say it, you know, I don't care, it's, it, it's not that big of a deal, um, you know, it's just, it's a word, it's, that has a bunch of history on it, um, and I'm, I'm I, I could care less if I could say be around a girl or, or not. It's really not that big of a deal. Um, and but you know I've get my you know my friends from other races you know they when when they bring it up to me you know it feels it's like a passion inside. It's a it's a weird vibe. It's it's kind of hard to explain. Like they really feel passionate about that. Um, they really feel passionate on you know. Why they can't, why they can't say it? And um, one of my, one of my good friends, uh, he said that you know, <laughs> one time he was, he was with his white friend, and uh, they was uh, in the car or something. I think they was going to a party. They were about to go to a party, having a good time. And and, um, and uh, the I think the other guy, I think but they were drunk or, or the other guy was drunk in the passenger seat, and. Uh, <laughs> He said he was bumping the music and stuff, having a good time. All of a sudden, he turns the music down. <laughs> it's out of nowhere. Uh, I think they was listening to something, and then uh, uh, in the song, uh, he said the N-word or something like that. So I guess it popped off some, uh, something deep down, and he had to get off his chest. So he turned the music down and <laughs> asked him the question, you know. And he was, like, mad about it. He was raising, he was like, man, how come we can't, effing can't say it or something like that? And <laughs> my friend was like, dude, chill out. <laughs> dude, chill out, man. Uh <laughs> Yeah, but it's like you know, um, and I've had a some some deep conversations on uh, with a, you know a couple of white my white friends on you know why we can't say it, but you know, like I said, not everybody says this word. You know, um, just just look back in history. I mean, the N word, whether you, you use the E R, or the A, whatever, because um, you know I've I've heard white people say A word uh, or use the A at the end um, as a derogatory term, not just you know what's up my N, uh, you know the they they use the A word so it doesn't matter if you use the E R or the A. I've heard I've heard, you know, people 
use that term to degrade black people both both of them so and i'll give you some examples but uh but yeah i mean the guy was like very passionate about it and um it's like is it bothering you that much but uh but yeah let me just shoot out some reasons on, on a couple things that i think that why uh people can say it um why other races can't say it and um you know that's just back in history you know that word was used and you know from our, my grandparents and stuff that are still alive um, you know on back and forth you know that was when it was really the word was used you know freely um, specifically by white people in America um, and you know you see movies and stuff and you can see like the power of that word the, especially back then um, you know that white people you know didn't didn't see black people as equals um, you know they use that word you know they perverted it um, and used it to you know to put put you know my race of people down um, and you know it's, it's it's just some you know powerful about that word and um, one reason um, you know I heard I think uh, Richard Pryor and Paul Mooney those the comedians they they wanted to 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 say um, N word the N word they wanted to you know call other people black people that they wanted to say it a lot you know just to to bring that power down bring the the power down you know they use it like it, it wasn't that big of a deal so you know you take away that power then you know white people using that word it's not going to be be big, big big that big of a deal so they that's why they wanted to say um, that's why they wanted to use it all the time um, just to bring that the power of that word down um, and then so another another reason is um, you know a lot of so a lot of black people um, you know they use they use the word too it's, it's kind of like a part of their culture I guess um, they use it amongst each other you know it's just part of life you know with you're around a certain type of people or a certain lifestyle you bring up you bring on those tendencies and stuff you know it's, it's the same as same as dialect and stuff you know you you, in the, you live in the south and stuff you stay up for a while you start talking like that uh, you know I'm originally from I'm, I'm in uh, Missouri originally from KC um, you know we say pop people in St. Louis say soda uh, when, I'm, when I go down to school, I have to, I'm, you know, move out of Kansas City, I'm in uh, Columbia, I'm in school, and there's a lot of people from St. Louis around, and I've been here for a while, and uh, I start myself, uh, I find myself sometimes saying soda, <laughs> you know, it's just, just being around them, you know, they keep saying it, it's like, so I say, sometimes I say pop, sometimes I say soda, so, uh, you know, but it's a lifestyle, and, and people, and, and most, most people who want to know why they can't say that word, they're not a part of that lifestyle. They're on the outside, like, you know, looking in, so don't worry about it. <laughs> you know, it's just part of their culture, but, I mean, it's a, it's a, not everybody uses the word again. Um, it's just some people, you know, have a lifestyle, and they choose to say it, you know, oh, well. Um, not, like I said, I don't, I don't say it like that, you know. Um, that's just me. Uh, but, yeah, but uh, come to... I had a um, come, come to, to some examples. You know, I had a friend, and you know, she asked me how come she couldn't say it, and she was real passionate about it. And I didn't really want to get into this conversation because I knew she wasn't gonna understand where I was coming from. Um, I didn't want to get into it, but I was like, whatever, man. I just, I just tell her first. You know, I told her first off. You know, I don't, I don't say it like that. Um, not everybody says it. Um, you know, I'm not the spokesperson for every black person in America or in the world, um, so this is just, this is just my opinion. But yeah, but you know, one reason y'all can't you get uh, shouldn't say it is because it's a derogatory term towards black people. Um, look at the history. I told her that, and she was like, "Well, you know, that stuff doesn't affect you anymore. This is 2011, acting like you know that stuff doesn't happen. Uh, you don't get called the N word, really. <laughs> Nobody gets called the N word, really." Uh, let's look at some examples. Um, you know, on the radio, when back when old, old Barack Obama um, won the presidency, 
on the radio they was uh, taking callers and uh, <laughs> oh man I'm gonna but I'm gonna bust out the word but uh, <laughs> this lady they cut they took a caller this lady just she, she just what she said she just goes she just she answers the phone she should get connect she just says nigga 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 and hangs up the phone <laughs> like are you kidding me <laughs> Those those who don't say that it doesn't happen anymore. Prime example, and it, it was in two thousand. It's in two thousands. Um, I have my um, my friend. Uh, he's gotten called. He's gotten called a nigger um, before. Um, yeah, and back to you know it doesn't affect me. God, just <laughs> sorry guys. Uh gotta remember to turn off that alarm but anyways what was I what was I going about to say um dang anyways um but yeah I mean I'm sure and you've you've heard about you know racist stuff you you I'm, I, I don't have to explain this I mean you guys know that people some people some ignorant people still use the n-word um as a derogatory meaning so I don't have to get into it so it still happens, um, but uh, and she was like, you know, it doesn't affect me now. Um, you know that racist stuff that happened back in the fifties or whatever. So it doesn't affect me, really. So all that racist stuff, you know, slavery didn't affect me. Um, you know, they took a thriving p country, stripped them of their youth. Just you know, took them in, uh, took them to America, sold them into slavery. They started, and then when slavery ended, all those people, a whole group of people, started out as with nothing. They, nothing, you know. They just threw them out and said, you know, good luck. You know, we promised you forty acres and a mule, but uh, did I, did I say that? My bad. Uh, yeah, good luck. So you think that those people are just gonna go in America, racist America? And just start thriving, just creating businesses, and and you know having setting up for setting up their grandkids, you know, with just money. No, it didn't happen like that. They had to work out. We had to work their way up. Most of the, uh, most of the people had to work their way up through the ranks, through racism, you know, through prejudice, um, and all that. They, they, that can just start off, you know, like a certain like most people did. Most people in America did, um, you know, who owned all the businesses. No, uh, how many black people back then in the 1800s, whatever, were, were business owners? I don't think many. But uh, anyways, yeah, the, uh, so, it, it, you know, it, that doesn't affect me now. Um, my parents got all this money. You know, they got an inheritance of, of millions so they can just pay for my college. No, I, no, I have to get scholarships. I have to get financial aid. My parents... Uh, what's what's the average tuition? Uh, Mizzou costs what about forty thousand total, uh, whatever ten thousand a year. Eleven is going up. Eleven thousand, twelve thousand every year goes up a thousand. Nah, um, yeah. Uh, so so that doesn't affect me. Um, my grandpa, you know, back in the day, back in his heyday, wanted to buy land. Wanted to buy some land. He was gonna buy uh, land, buy this this business. Um, the guy was like, you know. On the phone, he said, "Yeah, uh, yeah, we can. You know, we need to meet. You know, to make these you no know, transactions and stuff. They meet in person. Found out, the guy found out he was black. He said, no, I can't sell you. I can't sell you this. You're black. I can't sell this this land, this company to you. You're black. Bye. So that the racism back then and and using the N word as a crutch. He he missed out on that business." To have money, to have uh, money to pay for his kids in college, so they can get a good education and get make money, get get a decent job. And then when when his kids have a decent job, uh, went to college and had, have a decent job to pay for my schooling, to help you know to to make make me have a step ahead in life. That didn't affect me. He couldn't get that company, so you know he had to struggle and stuff, and you know they couldn't they couldn't 
my grandparents couldn't afford to get my to get the their their children in college and stuff. They had nine kids, you know they sh they couldn't afford that. So my you know my parents you know they had to work hard for what they get for what they got. I mean they didn't have that step ahead in that college. You know college wasn't um, wasn't as big as it is now. Like you didn't have to to go to college to get like a, you know a decent paying job. Now you do, and you know my, my you know my parents you know they middle class you know um, but not enough to pay forty thousand for four years so so that doesn't affect me um, you know when somebody wants to get mad at me I get in a fight or something you know somebody busts out the n-word that doesn't affect me you know so I mean it's just you know put yourself in somebody else's shoes um, for a change and a lot of people don't want to do that you know some you see somebody mad somebody sad you know somebody you get mad you know you're driving to work somebody cuts you off speeding and stuff you know you cussing at them like uh oh, man what's this fool doing you know i mean a lot of times you know there are you know drunk drivers and, and just people just who are idiots on the road but not everybody's like that you know just think of sit there and think about why that person is speeding you know i've had times where i've been speeding because you know um, you know, I'd be you know late for work or late for something, but something more, you know. Your 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 mom might be laying up in the hospital, and you know they say she's not gonna last much longer. You get that call, you know, are you gonna be just going to speed limit chilling? <laughs> no, you're gonna be speeding like a like a bat out of hell, trying to get to that hospital so you can see your mom for the, for her you know last minutes of life. Um, you know, just just that that person is is angry for a reason, you know. Not every you know some people are irrational, but. You know, just just when you have an argument and stuff, why is that person acting like that? You know, just think about it. Um, think about it for a change. Why do people do the things they do? You know, just put yourself in their shoes for once, for once in your life. Um, put yourself in their shoes and, and you know try to see it from a different perspective. And a lot of people don't want to do that. So uh, you know, just just think about that. You know. And uh, you know, just going back to this conversation, I mean, this was getting out of hand, like. I mean, she wasn't taking anything I was trying to tell her, you know. You know, she was I basically kept raising her voice. So, like, I'm like, why is this, this is getting out of hand? This is why I don't want to talk about this. So, you know, I started raising my voice back. You just get into a heated argument going for 10 minutes, you know, about why, you know, she couldn't say the N-word. She's just going back to that. And uh, it's just it's just too much, too much history on that word. Um, and, you know, some people feel that, you know, nobody should say it. And, you know. I think if you know if if other races feel that passion, then yeah, nobody should say it then. But if you pick a, a race of people that should say it, it should be black people. Uh, you know, we we've taken the the most of the, you know a lot of the power out of that word we did, but there's still some power in that word when another race says it, whether they're you know whether they're using that as a derogatory term or not. You know, I make I need to wrap this up. This video is way too long. Um, and I know a lot of people don't want to hear this, but you don't want to hear the truth. But if you don't want to hear it, hey, don't watch the video. <laughs> you know, it's just simple as that. You know, dislike whatever. But you know, it's just you know, get at me and you know, on what you think about this this vid or whatever. You know, put your comments in there. Trolls out there who wanna you know be ignorant and stuff. Whatever, man. <laughs> You know, you just, just, if, if there are trolls out there who, you know, want to, you know, call me a, the N-word or whatever, oh well, <laughs> you know, you just proving me right, I guess, proving people right, but, yeah, that's all, that's, I mean, I kind of got a little bit more to say, but this video is way too long, but I'm going to wrap it up, so, uh, I